Have you ever wondered how your team of angels became assigned to you? Well, today I'm going to share with you how this process happens and how you attracted the team of angels or guides that you have with you for this lifetime. Hi there, I'm Melissa of communicatewithangels.com and if you're new to this channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. Every week I share with you inspirational videos about how to connect with your guides, develop your intuition and find your unique life purpose. And if you haven't joined the Life Purpose Revolution Facebook group yet, hop on over there. It's a really welcoming community of spiritually minded people. So we'd love to have you join us. So today I'm talking about how your angels became assigned to you. This was a question I had from a viewer, so thank you so much. It was a great inspiration to make a video about this because I know that you're curious about these kind of topics. So one thing I want to clarify is that it's kind of a little bit inaccurate to say that your angels were assigned to you. There's a religious concept that kind of implies that everything is kind of decided by somebody else. So the first shift I want to invite you to consider today is that nothing is really assigned to you. You are free and you have free will and you are making choices to come here to planet Earth, to have the relationships and contracts that you have with people around you. And one of those important contracts is with your team of angels. Now, I will use angels, but it doesn't matter if you don't even like that word. You could call them spirit guides or spiritual helpers. If that feels better to you, please just change the verbiage. So how this really works is that you choose them and they choose you. And this happens before you're born into this lifetime. You come here with a purpose and a plan. And so as you're preparing to kind of come in and anchor yourself into that physical body, um, you are kind of preparing things ahead of time. And so you actually choose or attract that team of helpers who have strengths in the areas that you've come to work with. So whatever it is that you've chosen for your purpose and your niche for this lifetime, um, you will choose the team of angels that have strengths in those areas. And one of the services that I offer is a consultation that I'm certified through the Way Showers College, which is called Inner Guidance and My Spiritual Thrust. And one of the things that you can learn through this consultation is all about who your team of helpers were in their last lifetime on planet Earth. And it's really fascinating because that brings out the, the strengths and the expertise that they have. And you can start to understand why you chose this team. Now it's actually a mutual decision. You choose them and they choose you. So you're here on planet Earth to learn and grow. Now the real difference between you and your angels is that they've just evolved to a higher state of consciousness to where they don't really need to come back in the physical form to learn and grow. However, we are always growing and your team of helpers is actually growing and learning through the opportunity to be a guide for you. It's just learning and growing at a different level. So you might say that we're all angels in training. So as you learn about your unique purpose and who your angels were in their previous lifetimes, you'll start to see the connections about how they're ideally suited to help you. The other thing that's really cool is that you probably already have some kind of affinity with these souls who are now your team of angels for this lifetime. You might have known them before, you might have even been with them in previous lifetimes. So you can really say that these are your very best friends. They don't have a body, they're not in the physical, but you have a strong affinity with them. You kind of already know them in some way. So I hope that helps to you know, understand how this relationship works. It's definitely a giving and receiving between you and your angels. And if you'd like to learn more about you know, who your angels are, please feel free to contact me or check out the services on communicatewithangels.com. So are you ready to kind of recognize more where your angels communication is and how they're connecting with you? 
um, your next step is take a look at this video that I've linked beside me here. It's called Five Signs That Your Angels Are With You. So if you're having trouble distinguishing or you're not aware of your angels yet, you're going to learn some five signs to look out for so you can recognize their communication with you. So go ahead and watch that one next and I'll see you over there.